days and nights pass through Hithafol. A dusk emits through the lands. Vagala Infinity's palace has access to the core of all ground, the Cradle Primus. Bigger than planets, magma-heated electrolytes fill around the gravitational pull that creates a ball of thunderous chaos. Only manipulatable by its creator, the deities can dim its properties on demand. Soon, Vagala turns dark and thus all who reside, in turn, slumber. All aside from the forging of a new dynamic duo, Tyrant and Fate charge toward the castle gates and find their own way through tight corners and steep ascents above the palace walls. They would both carve together a tool of crimson and velveta properties that would protect them from the invisible wireframes that could trigger an alarm. Tension courses through thicker than blood. But something was still bothering Tyrant. He had questioned fate, how she could possibly know about what keeps the castle secure. Each colony was forbidden to know such knowledge. But somehow, fate knew more than she should. She gathers enough time to explain. They stand still, and before she can open the truth, suddenly, words become shrieks as a titanic crash brings the main doors down. There behold their gravest nightmare, Hithistras, Yondoth Atticus, and Wanderamite, the three almighty deities. They quickly grab the two unprepared vigilantes and throw them into airtight cages. They are levitated towards the brute and might of the Vegalian emperors. Fate would accidentally reveal a despicable knowledge of internal betrayal. She would question why she was locked up, which should have been more than obvious. That was until the deities revealed a crucial twist. She was working with them all along to take down Tyrant from the inside. Shaken, torn, Agonizing pain shrieks from Tyrant in violent volumes through the walls. He had been betrayed. But to the surprise of fate, she would too be punished for her cooperation. She too was deceived, all while being used as a mere pawn against Tyrant. His fears were all but validated. Fate was not originally an adversary. She was far too dangerous.